Shalom Rastafari. We have been asking for all of our people, for Ethiopians at home and abroad, and the diaspora especially, to pray for Ethiopia and calling Ethiopia to repentance now more than ever. As Second Corinthians, Metafe Zena Mawail Kale Mirafa Sabat, Chapter Seven of Second Corinthians, Kuter Asara Arat, as it says, Besame yet at a root, his bank, so Natachuan, Awardo be as Elu. Fite nema be a felgu, Kakufu men gadachuum, be melesu, Besamai honye isamalo, Hatia tachuunem yikerlalo, Midarachuunem ifosalo. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land ethiopia Ethiopia, Ethiopia, hoy, simi, e, jorushinin, azenibi. Listen. Jaz help egziabi her malet, Yahweh, maletno. His help is essential. It's the essence. It's, it's 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 not the it's not the the money it's not the western miseducation it's security in god security in god that has been lost because of the great transgression against god's elect do you not see do you not understand what the word says? Mesmur Dawit, the Psalm of David. Mesmur Meto Haya Arat Meto Haya Amis. Yem Arig Mesmur. Be Egeziabeher Yetamenu. In the my Tawak. Lezalalem in the Minor in the Sion Terraranacho. Terra roach, be yeru salem zuria in the honu, Kazare jam roll as lalem, Egziabe herbe hisbu zuriano, Sadek an ejachuin wode kafat in daizaragu, Ye hat yana better bez adek an it alai, I nor him. Abe le. Charoch le bachuum le kena melkamin adereg. Would it a mamma netta ye me melusutin again? Omit in kami serut gar egziabi her ye was tachual. Salam be Israel lie ye hun. Salam. Be Ethiopia lai Yehun. Targum Psalm 125, a song of degrees, a song of ascents. They that trust in Egzi Abeher Lotus Abhat, in Yahweh, Baruchu, in He who be who He be, in His gracious majesty are as Mount Sion, which cannot be moved, but abideth for ever, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, 
even round about the new Jerusalem, even round about Addis Ababa. So Egeziabihar is round about his people from this time forth and forever. For the rod of the wickedness shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous unless the righteous put forth their hand to iniquity, that the righteous put not forth their hand to iniquity. Do good, Abertu, I father, his father, O oh, father of the house, to the good, to the generous, and to them that are upright, straight forth in their heart. But, as for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, to their crook-hearted ways, to their wicked ways, will lead them away, will lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, with the workers of rebellion against Negus Negest, against the King of Kings. Peace be upon Israel. Peace, shalom, be upon Ethiopia. Psalm 125 speaks of security in God. Security be egazi abeher, security be nugusa negest, ze Ethiopia. The conviction, the conviction that to rely upon the true and living God, upon egazi abeher in a time of trouble, a time of tribulation, even Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation, it is the surest source of endurance and this is what breathes through this mesmor through this psalm the sadikan were being harried and worried and stressed and distressed and persecuted by evil doers and the composition, it relates to the treatment of the resettled community in Judea, in Ethiopia, even in Shashimani, by their malevolent neighbors. Some suggest that the whole of Nehemiah, Metaphah, Nehemiah, the book of Nehemiah, chapter 6, it should be studied. It must be studied. By I and I, it will be studied in connection with this mesmor, in connection with this psalm. But there's a couple of points that in this time of praying for Ethiopia, in this time where we put forward the repentance call to Ethiopians at home and abroad, in the context of Metafezena Mewa'il Kal'i, Second Corinthians, Raf Sabat, Chapter 7, Kutur Asara Arat, Verse 14, that we should study this. Because the Melakotawik al the divine word it says if that's a conditional my people do you know who you be which are called by my name do you know the name or have you denied the name if they show humble not grumble but humble not mumble but humble themselves and and pray, Besame yetet aruta hisbe, so natachu in awardo be as elu, and seek 
my face fitenem bi falugu and turn and turn return from their wicked ways kokufu men gadachu wum bi malasu then that's a conditional then we could say only then will i will the most high will the god and father of our black lord and savior jesus christos the moshiach yeshua then will he hear he says then will i hear from heaven and will not maybe not might but will forgive their sin their khatiyat and will heal their land it's not a united nations project it's not a globalist project it's not an international project that will it's not a bag full of money that will heal ethiopia even continental ethiopia even africa it is prayer and the prayer the faithful prayer of the sadiqan of the righteous therefore let us take a a look at this particular psalm psalm 125 psalm 125 song of degrees yam arig mazmur firstly it says in qutr and it says ba egziabihar yatamnu in the my tawak lazlalam in the minor in the sion terara nacho they that trust trust that trust ba egziabihar in the sustainer in the ab in the father the father of light the father of the firstborn chosen nation who defends the rights of those who are true and righteous they that trust in him in he who be who he be in his divine majesty and his graciousness in yeshua hamoshiah in christos jesus shall be as mount zion mount zion as the castle of great king david as the palace of his imperial majesty which which cannot be removed you can remove his name from the university and from the hospital and everything else but <laughs> true mount zion <laughs> cannot be removed but it abides forever even when the enemies are long gone and passed and decayed in the in the depths of the earth in the belly of the beast in the depths of the sea or in the lake of fire as mount zion this is to the residents of addis to jerusalem addis ababa the holy mount naturally addis ababa it represents the symbol of permanence even through its modern tribulation because of rebellion against the king of kings kutar hulet says to raroch be jerusalem zuria ndo honu kazare jamro lezalalem gaziabi her be hizbu zuriano as the mountains are round about Jerusalem the city the ayaru the ear of salem of of the duality of peace as above so below so egziabi her so yahweh he who be who he be his divine majesty is round about his people from henceforth even forever as the mountains as the mountains as 
the mountain, the mountains and even the hills typified for the mitmanan, for the faithful, for the amanya, the encircling protection of Hashem, of Ha Elohim, Baruchu, the true and the living God. From this time, even this time, upon the utterance and confession and profession and invocation of the word, now is now, Ahun, from this time forth and even forever, for all eternity. Even during I and I lifetime, Kuter Sost Demilo Sarekan Bejachuin Water Kafat and Dai Zaragu Yehatian Better Besadekan Uta Lai Ainorim for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. We must ask a question. Who are the righteous according to God and his word? Truly, the Christianos, the Christians, are the righteous because Jesus Christos. He is our righteousness before the Father. So let's overstand this prophetic, prophetically. Zadikan, the righteous, right? For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest, unless the righteous, the Zadikan, Ejachuin, Order kafat dai zaragu khatian better besadikan ita lai ainorim. Is not Ethiopia the lot of the righteous? So how has so much wickedness happened? How has so much death and distress and depression and downpression occurred in such a land? Do you not remember the great transgression against Moa on Bessa, Ze'im Negeri Yehuda? Do you not remember the great transgression against Kedamawi, Haila Salase? Do you not remember the great transgression against Siume Egaziaviher? You must remember your great transgression against Negusen against Ze. Ethiopia. And if you do, repent. Nisha Gabu. Ethiopia we are now choy at home and abroad. Kutel Arat. Verse 4 says, Abitu. Le Charoch le Bachoum le Kena Melkamina Derig. Do good, Abitu. My father, his father, oh, father of the house. The house of the true and the faithful. Christianoch, Christian. The house of Israel. The house of Rastafari. To those that be good. To those who be charoch, generous. And to them that are upright in their heart, straightforward in their consciousness, as we would say to those who call a a spade a spade. But let's understand this a little bit more. Because when we spoke about the rod of the wickedness, the scepter of wickedness, did we not explain that that rod, Yechatian Betur, in the Turguameu, is actually the foreign domination? Hmm. 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 The foreign domination characterized by injustice. The lot of the righteous is. Israel's land. 
and Ethiopia is of that land given to the Beta Israel, given to the seed of Abraham. Put not forth their hands. Long continued rule by the heathen. I think you used to say Faringe. Faringoch. Now you call them friend enemies and lovers. Heathen governors might induce at least some of the careless Ethiopians to lose their faith. To stop contending for the hymenal that was once delivered to the Kedusan. And in despair, throw in their itta. Roll the dice, as it were, with the oppressors whom I and I, Rastafari, know and call as the downpressors. Because they're not pressing you up, they're pressing you down. And these would abandon their ancestral religion. Look around. Look around. Where did Romanists bar Jesus come from? Where did this whitewash Mary? Where did this, what happened to the ancestral images of Gietai Jesus Christos? What happened to the Ancestral images of Kedistin Gilmarium and all of the Kedusan. What has happened to Hinante Hulu Hulachu? What? And the real key question is how long? But the prayer to Abba, even Abba Kedus, Kedus, Kedus to Abirtu. Is lecharoch lebacho wim lek and amel come in a derig. Do good, Father, Abba, to those that be good and to them that are upright in their heart, in their consciousness. Do good, show favor, show moges, show sega to them by establishing their independence by restoring the divine monarchy. That is the key. And thee cannot do it without we. So let I and I at home and abroad come together in praying for Ethiopia in spirit. Then we will manifest it in truth. Kuter Amist and I want you to listen to this. What at Amamanet Yemi Meles Sutin again? Amet on Kumi Sarutgar Gaziabe her ye west at Chual Salam be Israel lie Yehun Salam be Ethiopia lie Yehun. As for such as turn aside and refuse this invitation so full of compassion to repent, that turn aside to their crooked ways. Even the goose and the guest, the Memphis and shall lead them forth and has led them forth into exile, into captivity, forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace, salam, shalom, well-being, dichnet, shall be upon Israel, the Israel of the King of Kings and his Christ. And peace, salam, be Ethiopia lie, Yehun. Turn aside way astray woyo woyane renegades rebels who forsake the straight course of duty to their god to their king even to the king of kings and their country nishagubu nishagubu 
Interesting. Egeziabi her the sustainer Yahweh. Baruch, Baruch, Baruch will lead. Did you not notice that? It says that the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos, will lead them forth, away, astray, with the workers of iniquity. Or it may be, some say, a prayer that may Adonai May he lead them to shear, to their shear of a like condemnation in a condemned nation and among the Gentiles. But peace be upon Israel. Peace be upon the Israel of the true and living God, the supreme and the culminating salot, the supreme and the climaxing prayer. Peace is, shalom is, salam is the end of tyranny. Peace is, or as His Majesty would say, it's not so much a is, but it's a becoming. The end of tyranny, the end of hostility, the end of division, the end of disquiet, the end of masten kekia, alarm, peace, salam, shalom is true freedom. It is true democracy and harmony and constitutional monarchy and security and Blessedness. If that is what your heart, your born again heart in Abba, in God the Father, and through his Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christus, if that's what you desire, then along with us in this time, in this time and space that's indefinite, we will not say pray from just now to tomorrow, but pray and pray always. Pray to be found worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Shalom Rastafari in a Wendem Yadon Rasyadinos Tefari Neng of Yehuda Moa Anbesa Machiver. Shalom, Ras Tafari.